Now it's time to say goodbye. Mm, I'm gonna miss you. To Winston and Kaylee. See you real soon. I can't believe this guy's leaving me again. You don't wanna go, do you? Do you wanna stay here with dad? Huh? Do you wanna stay here with dad? They're gonna be gone for a week. Well, they're only gonna be actually gone for, well, from Monday till Friday. But I'm leaving Wednesday and won't come back till Sunday. And these guys are gonna be gone. Oh well. That's why we have FaceTime, I guess, huh? Huh? Can I have a kiss? Give dad a kiss. <laughs> what the heck's he doing with his eyes? Give me a kiss. Oh, he gave me a kiss. That was nice. Give me a kiss. Say bye to those guys. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Look at that sky. Oh my goodness. I love the colors of the sky when the clouds are just right. So many colors. It's like purple and blues. I'm into the blues, but the purple sure add a lot. Ooh, look at over here. It's really purple. I'm going to make this shot a little artistic, okay, through the tree. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I don't think you can see the purple as well as you're supposed to be. The camera it's just not picking it up. Look at these wild guys. Wild guys, wild guys. Can I push you? Can you give me a hundred dollars? Yeah, I'll push you. Here. But I'm gonna kick your butt every time you come back, okay? Are you down with that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one's gonna be relatively harder. <laughs> you're high, you're really high. Oh, you're just never satisfied, are you? Really high. Just never happy. Oh. If your name is Mark and you're my father in law, you have to turn this video off right now. We're doing some secret undercover shopping. It is Mark's birthday next week. This weekend, actually. The 21st. You guys make sure you tell Mark happy 50th birthday. Big 5 0, pal. Oh, you're, you're not watching it. Never mind. So the kids have been begging me to go to bring him to the store so they can pick him something out because I'm going to Washington on Wednesday and they are, Kaylee's in LA till Friday and then when she gets home they're all going to St. George for his birthday. Hoorah, hoorah. So they wanted to get him something. What are you getting, Grandpa Mark? I'm getting Ken some golf balls. Golf balls? Holla. Um, some gloves. Boop, boop. And some teas. Whoops. Smack that ball at that tea. He'll like that. Huh. Mm -hmm. They're going to St. George and Mark's a big golfer, so Gage did good. Braley, on the other hand, I don't know where Braley went. Her idea, which I think is a great idea, is she wanted to buy pick out a basket, which it looks like she found, and fill it up with Grandpa Mark's favorite candy. Is that what you're doing? What candies? Uh, oh, mostly Reese, these Reese's things, because that's eggs. what Grandma said was his favorite candy. Right on. Well, Braylee had her own money, and she wanted to, do, to uh, buy her grandpa her very own present with her own money. How did that work out? Good. It did? No. <laughs> she only blew over the top by like, what, 20 bucks? 20 bucks? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to keep, teach the kids about money. I should have made her take, don't tell Mark how much she spent. Well, I didn't tell you guys. Trying to keep, teach the kids about money. And uh, I think the, the uh, responsible parenting thing would have been to say, sorry, Braylee, you gotta take some of that stuff back. But on the other hand, she's like, I'll work it off, Dad. And I said, oh, by golly, you will. All right, guys, I uploaded a brand new Hushin video today. Woo! We're trying to do two videos a week right now, which we are doing. Two videos a week is easy. In a month from now, we're gonna do three videos a week. So go subscribe if you haven't. Go check out the video. It's a good one. But what I've been doing lately is answering some questions off the Hush videos on the Casey LeVere vlog channel. A lot of you guys wanna know how the hunting thing works. So I've been answering some of the questions in the comment section. So here we go. First question is from Sarah Ann. It says, here in the UK, our hunting laws are strict. We have to have permission from the landowners and some animals we can't hunt. Is it like this in the US? Yeah, it's the exact same. Like, here in the US, you can't just go out and shoot animals. There's always uh, 
seasons. There's always tags you have to have. The fish and game who control the wildlife herds set forth a certain number of animals in a certain area that can be harvested every year. And a lot of places it takes you years to get that tag. For private property, same thing. You cannot hunt on somebody's private property unless you have permission to hunt. Just like what happened in this video. It was a private property hunt that we were hunting on my good buddy Tony's uncle's land. But at the same time, the deer were on somebody else's land. We had to go get permission from them to hunt that first before we could ever step foot on that. So the next question is from Joseph Sandan. I did not say that right, Joseph, I apologize. Joseph Sandan. Is that right? Hey Casey, I wanted to say, even though I'm not a hunter and have never hunted in my life, I love your videos. You have really inspired me to want to hunt, comma, the only setback is I have no idea where to start in order to go on my first hunt. I was wondering if you could make a video explaining the process of going on a hunt to someone who has never been on one. Going over how to get a t hunting tag, what rifle you would recommend, and the preparations needed to be successful in a hunt. Thank you for being an inspiration to hunters and non-hunters everywhere. Thanks Joseph, great question. Um, Oh, there's so much that goes into it. It's pretty. It's a. It's a pretty detailed process. But at the same time, this is the series I've wanted to do forever. Like, I realize a majority of my audience on Hushin and Casey Levere are non-hunters, and I think through the years of Hushin, uh, I've changed a lot of people's minds, and they want to hunt, and not necessarily having parents or uncles or grandpas that hunted. People are starting want to want to hunt a lot like Joseph. So the first thing I would tell you is, no matter where you live, and I only know the laws in North America, in the United States. Every state that I know requires some sort of hunter education. You have to go through a course, either online or in person, to be able to hunt. Google it, depending on what state you live in, Google it and see what they require. I know at a certain age, like 45, you're not required to do that, but I don't know for every state, so Google that. Besides that, I am gonna do a series starting this spring that goes, that walks somebody from step one, the wanting to hunt, to step 10 of going on a hunt and harvesting an animal. I'm gonna do that. I've been wanting to do it for years. This is the year we do it. All right, guys, I've been waiting on clips from my beautiful, lovely wife for the last hour, but she's been in meetings all day in LA. She was gonna send me some clips of her when Winston traveling to California, but she's not gonna get them in time. So I will put those in tomorrow. I just wanna say thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the Casey LeVere channel. Thanks for supporting me over the years. But also thanks for watching the Hushin channel. I know not all of you guys are big hunters or wanna be hunters, but you guys go and watch and thumbs up and like it, and that's huge to me. I appreciate that. I really, really do. Thank you. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Casey LeVere does